Hello, my name is Alper Kenan and today I'm going to show you my homework tree for ME461 Mechatronic Components and Instrumentation course. In this homework, I done a circuit to light up 8 LEDs according to 5 different modes. The circuit has 8 LEDs. The color of the LEDs can be changed easily. LEDs are connected to Arduino you know, with 220 ohm resistors and there is also an input switch to the Arduino. Uh, I use Arduino Inno and it has a case to protect it from harm. It is connected to my computer. We will give commands to the Arduino. There are five different modes in this homework. For activating the first mode, input 1 is given to the Arduino. And when input is given to the Arduino, let's start to light up from left to right and then right to left. And this will continue infinitely. In the second mode, it's a bit different from the first mode. The difference is that let's run from left to right and right to left. But in this case, there is an input from the switch. And when the switch button is pressed, LED stops. And when the button, button is released, let's continue to run. In mode 3, binary count up on timer is activated. I have placed a paper writing the corresponding numbers to the LEDs for better comprehension. LEDs represent the num 1 or 0 in binary code. When LED is turned on, it represents 1 and when it's off, it represents 0. You can see the numbers written on the port. Or you can calculate it directly. Mod 4 is similar to mod 3, but in this time um, binary numbers are not shown on timer, but it, they are shown on pressing the push button. When button is pushed, number starts to incre increase by 1. And this incrementation is shown on the LEDs. In mod 5, an input is given to the computer and let's say we give an input of 32 and this number is converted to binary and shown with the LEDs as you can see. Let's try to give another input 76. It is represented with the LEDs. You can see com my complete code in the descriptions. First variables are declared input is as requested from the user pin modes are set and they are declared as outputs for leds and input for switch key switch button index number is taken from the user this index number represents the mod number and if the mod number is 1 mod 1 starts to run running lights lights let's run from left to right by doing a loop uh, Digital write LED pins are increased and then decreased and this is shown on the LED. In mod 2 it is very similar to mod 1. The only difference is that the button reads a digital read value and if the button is pressed, button states become 1 and it goes in, the, in this while loop. In the third mod, uh, binary count up on timer is used and integer goes from 0 to 255 it increases at every loop this bit read function is the main function used for converting to binary it takes two values the number in decimal and the digit you want to send to the Arduino mod 4 is a combination of mod 2 and mod 3 and it shows the numbers in binary as explained in mod 3 there's a push button read and every time a push button is pushed number is increased by one and this current count is printed on the screen in mod 5 
This time we are giving number input to the system. It reads part 5 index. We give it to the system and it represents this number in binary system as explained in mod 3. I hope that this explanation video is uh, helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me.